I consider it a most rewarding experience to have the opportunity of discussing with college students one of the vital issues of our day. Dr. Martin Luther King, Jr spoke here on February the 9th, 1961. There is a special joy in welcoming Mr. Martin Luther King III here at Kane University. It's always a, a special honor to speak where my father spoke, and I believe I have my own message to carry out, but my father had an unusual gift of communication, and I hope I'm bringing that spirit to the table. College students, the same age as many of you, played a critical role in the historic and nonviolent uprisings of the American Civil Rights Movement. The great struggles for justice and human rights we face today will require the same courage and commitment. For 20 years, I've spoken to young people around this nation. I think now people want to be more engaged. I think we see that by the Me Too movement. We see that by Black Lives Matter. We see that by other diverse movements that are, if not emerging, that are already working to bring about change in communities. The thing I'm really going to focus on is trying to find my small thing that I could help to implement in the world so I can make that impact larger. Mr. King said that his father would talk to anybody in power to see change, which is something that I think resonates now. If we want to see change, we need to talk to the people that can make it happen no matter how we feel about them. What I took home from tonight's lectures was that I can make a difference here on campus. And him like hitting the points of human rights and voting, it was just something that was shouting out to us, go make a change and so waiting for people who are older than us that already had their chance, now it's our turn. We can and we must do a better job in 2020 in motivating people to use the power of the ballot to improve their lives and their communities.